Other news, a mother traveling from Las Vegas to Phoenix is sharing her nightmare of a story after the bus liner that they were riding on left her and her seven year old daughter stranded in Kingman. And as Team 12's Mike Gonzalez found out, that wasn't even the worst part. This vacation was about the Grand Canyon in Arizona. When Roseanne Walren decided she and her daughter would visit her good friend Ruby in Arizona, the plan was to stop in the Grand Canyon first, but that was all derailed Wednesday evening when the Flix bus liner left her at a diner during a stop in Kingman. So it was announced that we'll stop here um, and then you'll get your refreshment and then we'll make our way. Walren, who's a PhD student from Barbados, says her seven-year-old daughter was sick and she had to take some extra time taking care of her. When we then, when I then paid for my stuff, when I went outside, the bus was gone. She quickly called her good friend Ruby and Chandler, who was in shock. My initial thought was literally just, what do you mean the bus left you? Ruby frantically calling Flick's bus, but couldn't get a definitive answer. After picking Roseanne up three and a half hours away in Kingman and reaching out to 12 News, Ruby says she finally got some answers and a message that Roseanne's stuff would be in the valley Friday morning. This morning, Roseanne's luggage finally arriving at Ruby's door. Two days later, Ruby recorded the delivery. Are you guys, um, do you guys work with Flex or? They contract with us, it was, yeah. Okay. So it was our bus that the items were on and they were put in the driver's room yesterday. And Ruby and Roseanne say they're glad that Roseanne got her stuff back with the help of 12 News, and they both hope the company changes their policy of leaving passengers behind. I hope they, they put in place certain protocols to avoid anything like this happening in the future. In Chandler, I'm Mike Gonzalez, 12 News. My thanks. Flex Bus released a statement apologizing for what happened and thanking 12 News for bringing the incident to their attention.